April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website and this ad popped up that said, hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. OK. Um, there are these things called cookies, where like, if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. Well, the police said they were going to launch an investigation to see whether or not I was hacked, but it's very complicated and it could take up to a month. There is nothing more disgusting than an invasion of privacy, and I should know. I've had many women steal my undershirts. I have a press conference about the Pawnee Commons in two hours, so I need to go through every email that I've ever sent, ever. I need to know what they might use against me. You can't hack into a typewriter. That's all I have to say. Can it, Unabomber? This is an emergency. Who or what is Penny Saber? It's a free circular with a bunch of coupons in it? This was sent to Ron Swanson at Diane's address, where I've lived for less than a month. How is that possible? This is an extreme invasion of privacy. The right to privacy is very important to me. My family has had a single P.O. box for several generations. We only ever subscribed to two magazines, Reader's Digest and Ebony. Ebony was due to a clerical error, but it ended up being an interesting year of reading. I don't know how this was delivered to me, but it cannot happen again. How can I stop it? Mm. Donna is great with this sort of thing. She got me off the Williams Sonoma mailing list, but then I just signed back up again. I'm hooked on their oven mitts. I need my mitts on those mitts. Let me know the second Donna returns. According to her Twitter feed, she got coffee five minutes ago. Wait, now she's you streaming her walk back. She should be here in three, two, one. Hey, hey, hey! Hashtag quest for coffee, blowing up my timeline. You get my Snapchat about it? No. Well, what? There it is. I found this typewriter next to the courtyard dumpster, an old Underwood 5 with original carriage return. Oh. Took her home, polished her up, Bought a brand new ribbon off of electronicbay.com. Okay, somebody's got to do something. I'm getting a cluster headache. Oh, whoa, whoa. he's leaving. Let's go. I'm gonna throw it away. No, I'm not. It weighs a billion tons. Well, what is he typing anyway? If you sons of bitches try to remove this typewriter, I'll kill you. I'm gonna type every word I know. Rectangle. America, megaphone, Monday, butthole. People ought to have the right to be left alone. I want to get completely off the grid. That's crazy talk. I live for the grid. It's where I meet 40% of my jump offs. And if you're off the grid, how are you going to post photos of the dope food at restaurants you're at and all the cool places you're stunting in? Food is for eating. Places are for being, end of discussion. Don't leave the grid on, the grid is the best. If anything, you need to get more on the grid. Grid, 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 grid. If you help grid. me get off the grid, I will let both of you go home early. No grid, no grid, no grid, no grid. February 2016, I think you're gonna really enjoy this month's photo album. It includes such hits as First Trip to the Dentist, Sonia Tries Pizza, and Water Park Vomit Chain Reaction. Why would you take pictures of that? Why would you not? As you requested, here's a picture of my son at a recent moment in his life. So cute. What are you doing? Protecting my son's privacy. What, I'm just going to carry around pictures of my child where anyone could see them? Well, it's funny you should mention privacy, because that's our next topic. Ron technically works for Grizzle. And when he finds out what Grizzle is doing, he is going to lose his mind. I have no reaction to this. What? I do not pass judgment on the workings of private businesses. I just build their buildings. And frankly, if people are foolish enough to carry around a doodad that lets Grizzle track their every move, this is what they get. But it's illegal. I don't believe that's true. I've spent a fair amount of time with Grizzle's high-priced lawyers, and they do seem to, as they say, keep it 100. 
Every year, I give Leslie the same present I give everyone, a crisp $20 bill. And every year, she gets me something thoughtful and personal. It makes me furious. This year, she outdid herself. She had it installed over the weekend. It's so, it's so beautiful. Paul, if you ever see another one of these with my name on it, I want you to drive into the woods and bury it. I don't decide who gets mail, sir. I just deliver it. Passing the buck. The last refuge of the cowardly and black-hearted. That seems harsh. Get out. We got rid of your cell phone. This is your last credit card. Are you sure you want me to cut up this card? It gets you into the parking garage. I'll be taking the bus now, and I'll be paying in cash. What other traces of me exist in the world? Think, people. Isn't there a photo of you up at JJ's diner from that time when you, oh! Come on, Tom! Just give me the IP address of the dude that gave me that cracked out Yelp review. Okay, here we go. The IP address says it came from someone inside City Hall. In this building? Oh, hell no! Well, who cares, really? It's just some dumb internet person. Ignore it. Ignore it? I'm about to come down on this dude like Thor's hammer Mjolnir. I'm about to go Mjolnir on his ass. Speaking of bad reviews, computers are mostly pointless, but that Yelp thing gave me a great idea on how to criticize people and places. I am composing strongly worded letters about things I disapprove of, and I am using the internet to get addresses where I can send them. So far, I've written to a vegetable farm, several European ambassadors, a manufacturer of male cologne, and a non-fat frozen yogurt bar. Dear frozen yogurt, you are the celery of desserts. Be ice cream or be nothing. Zero stars. OK, all public photos of me recovered, nameplate removed from my office door, pediatrician files confiscated and destroyed. Anything I'm missing? Great news, Ron. John Ralphio loves your shirt. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I've been taking pictures of you all day for my new Facebook album, Ron Swan, Getting Off the Grid. Tom, do you maybe see a problem with what you've done? I do now, yes, sorry. Erase. 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 Erase all pictures of Ron. Erase all pictures of Ron. Erase all pictures of Ron! What the hell is happening? I think he accidentally opened a vine. You just vined your first selfie, Ron. And I'm vining you, vine your selfie. The world is a nightmare. Erase all pictures of Ron! Erase all pictures of Ron! Erase all pictures of Ron! Hey, friends. I'm just about to go on my night jog. Would you like to join me? Mm, hard pass. We're here because you need to tend to your woman. She's complaining about everything ruining wine and cheese club. I literally have 1,000 questions. Why is Ron wearing headphones? What's wine and cheese club? And what is Anne complaining about? You, mostly. How you never let her vent because you're always too busy trying to solve everything for her. She's upset that I'm trying to help her? You've fallen into a classic trap, Christopher, trying to fix a woman's problems instead of just listening to what they are. Why are you yelling? Tom put all my records into this rectangle. Hey, man. If Ann needs Tylenol, she can get it herself. What she needs from you is to just look her in the eyes, nod your head, and say those two magic words. That sucks. That sucks? I spent my entire life reading instructional books about relationships in order to trick women into liking me. When Ann tells you what's bothering her, don't try to fix it. Just say, damn, that sucks. <laughs> the songs just play one right after the other. This is an excellent rectangle. We need to talk. What is that? This is a flying robot I just shot out of the sky after it delivered a package to my house. I thought you didn't like to pass judgment on this. The package was addressed to my son, who is four years old and does not own a grizzled doodad. Somehow the robots looked at Diane's computer and learned something about my child and then brought him a box of presents. So I destroyed the robot. No one is safe from these bastards. Tell me what to do, Leslie. I want to help you take them down. 